So what is the best budget PC case in 2021? In today's video, we're gonna go over my top favorite budget cases of the year so far. Addressable RGB, high airflow or maybe both. Today we'll be guiding you through my top three budget cases to consider in 2021. Now, if you find anything you like and you want to take a greater look at, you find all my picks listed down below. And with that said, let's start having a look at place three on the list and then work our way down. With that said, let's get started. So coming in at $55, on place 3 we find the Cooler Monster MB311L or the MB320. And this my friends is a banger of a budget PC case. With stellar build quality, lots of cooling and expandability, temper glass side panel and two ARGB fans. The MB320 is a favorite that I've been using for several builds in the last year. It's got quite a small footprint, this is M80X, so compared to a mid-tower chassis, there is quite a difference in size here. This is personally something that is a good thing in my opinion, and M80X motherboards are often cheaper than standard size motherboards without sacrificing any you know, valuable features, but this guys is something that you do want to have in mind. If you want even greater airflow, Cooler Monster has a mesh variant as well. Overall, I'm super happy with all my builds using this one. Once again, this is a banger that you cannot go wrong with. You find it linked up down below. I'm moving on to spot number two on the list. And if you're looking for something sleek with great cooling potential, plenty of options for more fans and expandability, but doesn't have to scream gaming or feature lots of blinking RGB, yeah, you definitely want to take a look at the Fantex P300A and you're gonna be amazed how much you're gonna get for just $60. Now this case offers similar build quality and set of features as much more expensive cases but for a lower price point. Now the whole front double acts as a dust filter for excellent cooling potential. There's a 120 fan that comes included and you might want to consider adding another one in case you decide to add let's say a mid-tier GPU such as the RTX 3060 or above otherwise you're gonna be perfectly fine with just one fan sitting at the rear especially if you have a tower cooler a CPU cooler to help push a bit more air through the case Anyway, I stumbled across this chassis a couple of months back and I'm very happy I did. I've done a handful of videos featuring the P300A that have turned out fantastic in my opinion. Once again, I'm super happy with this one. It's a pleasure to build in this and I cannot recommend it enough. If you're looking for a high quality mid tower that doesn't break the bank, yeah, the P300A is a favorite go-to. And with that said, let's move on to spot number one. Here we find the Li and Li Long Cool 215. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate budget high airflow case with RGB, can look no further. This one comes with three fans, and two of which are 200 millimeters. And we find another 120 fan at the rear. Now, the Long Cool 215 is a complete beast when it comes to high airflow. <laughs> The mesh panel once again double acts as a dust filter to create excellent airflow without bringing in the dust. We find the top and bottom honeycomb ventilations, wide fan radiator combination support and multiple cable management solutions for easy and smart cable routing. Now, I always find myself having a great time building in this case and if you're looking to build a gaming PC with high-end components, let's say an RTX 3070 or a Radeon RX 6800 let's say, you're not gonna go wrong with a case like this. 
Anyway guys, once again, I'm super happy with this one and I cannot recommend it enough. Now guys, I'll be happy to take any video suggestions. Let me know if you have anything you would like me to cover. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like or a dislike on the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.